Well, hey everybody, we are here once again at Antlers Fireside Grill in Canadian Lakes. We're here with Jim Wood, chef extraordinaire. And Jim, we are gonna do some basically rainbow trout here today. So I'm excited for this. How do we get started? Well, first of all, we're gonna pan sear it, but you can do it on the grill, bake it, however you wanna do it. Um, we're actually gonna make kind of a, a summer slaw slash salad that we're just gonna put on top of it. Okay. So this is perfect this time of year because we're starting to come into cucumber and tomato and Perfect. Seasons like that. And now, so with the rainbow trout, do you skin on pretty much all the time, or how do you like to do that? Okay, here's how I like to do rainbow trout. I leave the skin on. I eat the skin, not everybody does. Okay. But the skin actually acts as a barrier. Hmm. So you can just take the, um, the meat, the flesh off as soon as you're done eating it, okay. or as soon as you're, you're done cooking it, or you can, you can take it off during the cooking process, or you can eat it like I do. Hmm. So. Okay, cool. Well, how do we get started? Well, we're gonna make the dressing for the salad. To make the salad, start with sour cream, bacon, basil, and a little citrus vinaigrette and whisk it thoroughly. Next, add in your onions, cucumbers, tomatoes, and a little salt, and you're ready to cook the fish. We go in with the fish here. So I would, I mean, this has got to cook super fast. It's Very really fast, yep. A little bit of salt on the skin, then we flip it over. We can put a little salt on the flesh. You can already see that the skin, you know, skin gets loose. But if let's say it's too hot and the skin's side down, you do this on the grill, a, a fillet that thin, yeah. you can cook just on one side. You don't have to flip it, skin side down. Doesn't matter how much you burn the skin, unless you really mess it up, you're not gonna you're not gonna burn any of the actual meat itself. Okay. And this is best with a trout versus you could do this with trout, salmon. Um, I mean, you could really do it with anything. It's just the the, the, the more intense flavors of trout and salmon seems to go well with um, the vegetables and things here. All right, so now we've done that. I'm flip it over, turn the heat down. And part of the reason that I don't put black pepper on fish mm -hmm. is because if there was black pepper on here, this entire thing would be, it would look, it would appear to be burnt. Oh, okay. And the pepper itself, it is burnt, because the pepper will burn, and, but I, the pepper's a little bitter, and I just, I don't like putting it on fish. Hmm. Well, I would imagine, so if you're gonna do this with salmon or a bigger piece, do you have to, I mean, this is nice having it thin, because it just gets yep. done evenly and... And quickly. Yeah. So, fish is done. What is the name of this dish? This is going to be a pan-seared rainbow trout with a summer vegetable slaw. 